Hello, everyone. My name is James Bellissimo, your town manager, town of Berwick. I'm happy to be here with my, my monthly updates with BCM. First update I have for you is on the Diamond Hill Bridge. And Scott Construction has been hard at work over the past month working on footings, and there has been a detour that has been up over the past week, week and a half or so. Um, that, I believe the detour is planned um, during working hours, and they're going to have a, a different time on Friday from 4 in the morning. They'll have the detour closed, and they'll be back open in the afternoon, and they'll be pouring some concrete. We will have details as they are available. They'll be posted on the BCM Facebook page, Town of Berwick Facebook page, and our website on the news section. Um, thank you for your patience. It's a great, um, important project. The posted weight will go from five tons to 20 tons. I have an update on the edge. Happy to report that uh, the eight Main Street building, the building that they're working on now on the corner of the future Main Street and School Street, they're working on the foundation. This is a mixed use building and it's slated for completion by probably late summer 2023, early fall. A ton of work, infrastructure, um, Recently, underground utility planning has gone in. Um, the sewer uh, pump station will be serviced underground, and this was needed to make room for uh, the development that's coming. And um, we have plans that are coming together well for utilities around the site and uh, some good streetscaping and infrastructure projects. So a lot of Planning over the past 10 years is, is coming together very well. There will be three additional, on top of the businesses that are already there, three new businesses are about ready to move in to 12 Sullivan Street. And this will be slated towards um, more as we get into the winter and early spring. So super exciting, three additional businesses, six counting and I believe it'll be 37 by the end of it. And then on top of all this stuff, 8 Main Street, the businesses, two additional businesses are, are, excuse me, two additional buildings are planned to start in the spring and summer of 2023. And that'll probably take a year before they're completed. But those buildings, along with the new streets, will probably be the biggest change we've seen downtown since the buildings came down. So exciting times in, in Berwick. Town Hall will be closed on the 22nd and 26th for the holidays. Uh, be on the lookout on our media channels. The transfer station will be closed because it'll be the 24th and 25th. So um, we don't have an exact date pinned down on when they will be open, but it'll be open after Christmas. And that'll be information we posted as soon as possible. Because I know you'll have wrapping paper and all that good stuff to get rid of. Berwick for a Lifetime's next Lunch and Learn at the library will be co-hosted with the Wentworth Douglas Hospital, and that's a program on balance and fall prevention, and that will be held again at the library January 11th at 10.30 a.m. Berwick for a Lifetime is doing a lot of incredible work, so commend uh, Sharon Kelly at the library and everyone involved for that project. Very happy to report basketball hoops are up at Memorial Field. These are regulation-sized regulation backboards. They're breakaway rims, means they're very high quality. Uh, and paving is slated to begin pretty much as soon as we can in the springtime. So we'll work on getting those striped. And the two high school-sized courts, I'm a big basketball fan. I'm just, I'm happy to see it. And I'm happy to start seeing some tangible changes happening. The courts were moved around to ultimately make more room for, for more things. And this includes a pickleball court and tennis court. It's both. It'll be striped for both. It'll have a pole that can be movable for the different sports. We do have some erosion control issues that may take precedent before we can pave. But those are two projects that will be coinciding this summer. Playgrounds will be designed and bitted out by the winter into the early spring, then there's a lead time on that. But um, we just want to make sure that 
we get the design down the way the community wants and have something for for you know kids of all ages and get something really nice and something we can build upon into the future. Um, the community resilience workshop is now up on the BCM YouTube page. There are some really interesting discussions and ultimately this project is about what the community wants to see and there's tons of funding and resources out there to make things happen. So I recommend checking out the video and, and getting all of us to see what your ideas are. And uh, I want to commend BCM on the quality. Quality is amazing on that video. I'm also happy to report the uh, underground oil tank project that's been going on for the past few weeks is starting to wrap up. We replaced the 20 plus year old underground oil tank. Uh, there was some low concentration of petroleum that was mixed into the groundwater. And we have a ton of, just so happens, a lot of our pipes are piped right into that area. Um, so we've had a giant tank out there and we've been sucking out the water. Um, but that tank's no longer taking water out and they're wrapping up the project. So hopefully by the time you see this um, update, the project will be wrapped up. So if the final paving may need to wait until the spring, but the project will be mostly done. I want to send a warm welcome to Dave Andreessen and Irish Griffith to the Planning and Code Office. Dave is a longtime Berwick Planning Board member, longtime Berwick resident, and Irish comes to Berwick with a wealth of code enforcement and building inspecting experience. So give him a shout when you're in the town hall and give him a warm welcome. Also be on the lookout for some videos with Irish. I think she'll have some, uh, some really informational uh, material to provide. And uh, last piece, I just want to send my condolences to the Hokuson family. Neil Hokuson, best known as Hokie, passed away last week. Uh, he was a long time Berwick employee and a wonderful member of the Berwick community. And to me, he's somebody that made Berwick Berwick, and I'm sure you agree if you go to the Transfer Station Weekly. Just somebody there that, um, again, just really makes Berwick a special place is, is the people that live here. And he will be missed. So that's all I have for this month. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me. I'm available just about any time and happy to talk with you. So thanks. Bye.